Choosing the right lenses for your prescription glasses is essential to helping you see properly. But there are so many different kinds of designs and other options out there that once you start looking into this, it can be pretty overwhelming. I'm going to demystify the different types of lens designs, materials, and treatment options out there to help you avoid making a costly mistake where you pay big bucks for the wrong kind of lens. The first step is choosing one of two overall lens types, single vision lenses and multifocal lenses. Single vision lenses are the most simple type. They correct for one set of vision errors across all parts of the lens. Because they're the most simple design, they're the most cost effective. Single vision lenses can correct for a few different types of errors in your eyes. More than 40% of people are nearsighted, meaning that when your eye is looking at something very far away, it takes in that light and instead of focusing it onto your retina on the back of your eye like it's supposed to, it's focusing the light too soon, too near. So by the time that light reaches your retina, those lines have spread out a bit and things become more blurry. So what your glasses need to do if you're nearsighted is go in front of your eye and push back that point of focus. This lens is actually way too powerful. It's making the line straight again, when ideally you would have a pair of glasses that moves back that point of focus onto the retina. If you're nearsighted, you'll have a negative number in the spherical or SPH part of your eye prescription. Being farsighted is the opposite of that, where instead of focusing light too soon, farsighted eyes don't bend the light strongly enough. So it hasn't quite come to a point of focus before it reaches the retina. So again, things become blurry. Here, the purpose of glasses is to go in front of your eye and move up that point of focus. Again, this lens is too strong, moving up the point of focus to the inside of the eye if my hands get out of the way. But ideally, you want to move up that point of focus, again, right onto the retina. 40% of people also have astigmatism, meaning that your eyes bend light differently in different directions. This is what causes points of light to be spread out into lines at night. So, if you have astigmatism, your eyes may be farsighted in one direction while having normal vision in the other, and the glasses for astigmatism therefore need to correct light differently in different directions. So as I rotate this lens for astigmatism, you'll see that the way it bends light changes. Your eye prescription will have a cylinder or a CYL number if you have astigmatism, and the axis number describes the orientation of your astigmatism. All right, that covers single vision lenses. Multifocal lenses are the same as what we just talked about, but they correct for your vision differently across different parts of the lens. The top of the lens is similar to one of those single vision lenses, while the bottom transitions to be more like a powerful lens for nearsightedness. You'll see that as I move this lens around, the lines closest to the bottom of the lens get bent more than the lines closer to the top. That's because that stronger part of the lens is on the bottom. This causes the bottom of the lenses to be better at helping you see things up close, while the top of the lenses is much better at letting you see things further away. Bifocals are the simplest type of multifocal lenses, with a sharp transition between those two different parts of the lens but that can get in your way or just make you look older. Most multifocal lenses now are something called progressive lenses or very focal lenses that smoothly transition between areas of different power on the lens. Progressive lenses are great for letting you see well in a few different situations, but because they're more complex, they're a little more expensive. They also have a bit more of a learning curve to get used to because different parts of the lens bend light differently. The prescription for multifocal lenses will have numbers in the add section. For all of the lens types we've talked about so far, you can have either spherical or aspheric lenses. Spherical lenses are simply parts of a sphere, meaning they have one continuous curve across them. Aspheric lenses have a funkier shape where the curve bends differently across the lens. 
This does a better job of correcting for your vision errors though, and they result in thinner and lighter lenses. They're more expensive though, but they may be worth it if you have a pretty high prescription, since those are the lenses that can end up really thick and heavy. Finally, you may have double vision if you have a lazy eye. That's where your two eyes form different images slightly separated from each other. If that's the case, you'll want glasses with a prism specification. They have prisms in them that bend light going into one eye so that it lines up with the image from your other eye. That covers the main lens design options available to you. Now let's talk about the lens materials. Two pairs of glasses may have the exact same prescription, but be pretty different because they're using different materials. You may be surprised to learn that almost no glasses are made out of glass anymore. Glass is relatively fragile and heavy, and if it breaks, the shards can be dangerous to your eyes. Because of those reasons and cost, almost all glasses are now made out of plastic. There are two main properties of your plastic lenses that define how they perform, their refractive index and their Abbey value. Refractive index describes how strongly light interacts with the material. A higher refractive index slows down the light in that plastic more and makes it bend more. Because high refractive index materials bend light more, less material is needed and you end up with thinner and lighter glasses. They are more expensive though because of that slightly more exotic kind of material. Abbey value, or Abbey number, describes how much the material disperses light, causing different colors to bend at different angles. Low Abbey values result in more smudging of the colors, known as chromatic aberration, while higher Abbey values reduce this. Here are the most common plastics for prescription lenses. CR39 has the highest Abbey value out of those materials, which is good, but its low refractive index results in thicker, heavier lenses, making this not ideal for people with really strong prescriptions with a lot of errors in their eyes. It's a very affordable material, lightweight, and has good optical quality, making it pretty widely used. CR39 lenses are often called basic or standard lenses. The other materials are basically upgrades from the standard CR39, Polycarbonate lenses are made out of a softer plastic, making them more shatter resistant. Because of that, they're great for kids, construction workers, or anyone else at a higher risk of bonking their head on stuff. They're lightweight and block most UV light from the sun too, but their low Abbey value results in more of that chromatic aberration. High index materials have a higher refractive index, probably could have guessed that and that allows them to bend light more, making them thinner and lighter and good for people with those really high prescriptions. If you're nearsighted and have a prescription of negative three, negative four, or a greater magnitude negative number, you'd probably benefit from some high index glasses. That increased performance and thinner shape can cost you a little extra though. Trivex lenses are a pretty good balance of refractive index, Abbey value, and shatter resistance, but they're more expensive. Okay, you now have your lens design and material. The finishing touches that tailor your glasses for you are their coatings and their treatments. All of these cherries on top add a little more cost though. Scratch resistant coatings are pretty self-explanatory. They protect your lenses from minor scratches and abrasions. Because polycarbonate lenses are softer, they're more prone to scratches. Even though they're more shatter resistant, they can still get those little surface level scratches on them. So a scratch resistant coating would be really beneficial if you're getting polycarbonate lenses. Anti-reflective coatings protect you from glare and other harsh reflections. They can help anybody, but they're especially beneficial if you have a high index material as they reflect more light. Hydrophobic coatings repel water, so your lenses don't get all smudgy. You can also get a UV blocking treatment. But again, don't waste your money on a UV blocking coating if you already have polycarbonate lenses, since that naturally blocks UV light. 
I just covered all of these parts of prescription lenses at a pretty high level, but hopefully this gives you a good base understanding so you don't order glasses online and end up with a pair of lenses that don't do what you thought they would. I have videos that go into a lot more detail on many of these topics like astigmatism, aspheric lenses, and understanding your lens prescription, so check out those links in the description if you want to learn more. Thanks.